Hi peeps, my name is Zena and I'm Aging Ethically and today is a very special day. I will be decorating my apartment for Halloween. Now nothing gets me more in the mood to decorate than this documentary called The American Scream and I hope there isn't any uh, copyright infringement but I have been watching this documentary for the past few years and it completely sets the tone and sort of like initiates my creativity. I'm excited to share it with you because it's one of my absolute favorites. So it's a documentary about these families in Massachusetts who set up home haunts and they go all out doing these like front yard horror productions and it's really really great. I highly recommend watching it. I'm going to put it on right now. We're going to go outside and you're going to see the uh, little seating area patio if you will of my little apartment in Arizona. I can't start decorating without a proper pumpkin Halloweeny breakfast. So I'm starting my day with Nature's Path Organic Pumpkin Spice Waffles. Oh my goodness, these are so good, guys. Now I'm going to top my pumpkin spice waffles uh, with some cocoa whip from So Delicious. We're gonna continue the awesomeness with some wholesome organic pancake syrup. Oh. 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 And then finally, I'm going to top this lovely creation with some organic pumpkin pie spice from Sprouts, which is a little local health food market here in Arizona. Breakfast of Halloweeny champions. So perhaps this is an appropriate time to mention that I leave Halloween decorations up in my home pretty much year round. Like these guys are always protecting me. I have some artwork around that's, that's kind of Halloween-esque. Lots of skulls all kinds of oh my gosh house of a thousand corpses hot cocoa which i never used i bought that years ago and i just have all kinds of like spooky ooky things that i like to uh, surround myself with it it makes me feel comfortable to have these things near me i guess i don't know it's kind of hard to explain and i think you have to be a member of the night watch to truly understand where I'm coming from as far as my fascination with all things Halloween. Some more artwork from John John Jesse. This is a print of one of his paintings, of course. Some more Halloween themed art which is displayed year round in my casa. Of course you guys have seen this little piece <laughs> in some of my other videos and I have some like spooky little homewares as well that I love so 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 much. And this is my friend Bernie. He is by my bedside year round and he is just living his best life uh, in my little apartment here. Isn't that right Bernie? <laughs> and this is Fred. Poor Fred is dead. I inherited Fred from a bartending job that I had in Florida and he is a permanent fixture in my home. Can you do me a favor? What? The eyeballs upstairs? Oh yeah. Thank you. I love it. All right, you guys, let's get started.
my second Halloween in this apartment and many, many, many neighbors stopped to talk to me while I was setting up yesterday. Really happy with the results. This took several hours to complete. <laughs> it's pretty spooky this year and so far my neighbors are okay with it, but I cannot wait to get trick-or-treaters this year. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see the looks on the kids' faces when they walk past my little patio here. So that makes it all worth it. I hope you guys are planning on decorating too for Halloween. You know, let's keep this tradition alive, shall we? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> guys my instagram facebook and twitter are all aging underscore ethically and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos thank you so much bye